Good day. Our objectives are to 1. Calculate electrical energy and 2. Calculate specific heat capacity. So first, let's begin by looking at some common electrical power ratings. These can be found usually on a sticker on the device. A lamp may have a sticker with a power rating of 60 double on it, which means that it is of a power rating of 60 watts. An iron might be of 1000 watts or 1 kilowatts. It all depends. You will see it on your electrical appliance. So our first example. Suppose your microwave is rated at 1.25 kilowatts and is used continuously for 5 minutes. How much electrical energy does it use in this time? So we know the power is 1.25 kilowatts, which must be converted to watts. That would be 1,250 watts. And the time is 5 minutes, which we must convert to seconds by multiplying by 60. So 5 times 60 gives us 300 seconds. Remember that power is equal to energy divided by time, which rearranged would be energy is equal to power multiplied by time. So the energy would be 1,250 watts multiplied by 300 seconds, which would give you 375,000 joules. Our second example. An electric heater of power rating 0.5 kilowatts is used to warm a mass of 2.0 kilograms of liquid from 25 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius in a time of 4 minutes. Using this data, calculate the specific heat capacity of the liquid. So, the power is 0.5 kilowatts, which when converted to watts would be 500 watts. The time is 4 minutes, which when converted to seconds would be 240 seconds. The mass is 2 kilograms, and the change in temperature is 45 minus 25, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So our formula is the heat energy is equal to mass times specific capacity times change in temperature. When we rearrange that to make the specific heat capacity the subject of the formula, we have C is equal to heat energy divided by mass times change in temperature. The heat energy used here is the same as the electrical energy used by the appliance because of the principle of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is only transformed from one form to another. Here, this transformation is from electrical energy to heat energy. So 500 watts multiplied by 240 seconds divided by 2.09 kilograms times 20 degrees Celsius. So that would be 120,000 joules divided by 40 kilogram degrees Celsius. And that will give us that the specific heat capacity of the liquid is 3,000 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So this is a practice problem for you to work on. A microwave of power rating 1.5 kilowatts is used to warm a mass of 250, 250 grams of coffee from 30 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius in a time of 2 minutes 45 seconds. Using this data, calculate the specific heat capacity of the coffee. So pause the video here and solve it. And then when you're ready to continue, you move on and see the solution as follows in 3, 2, 1. I hope you got it correct. Goodbye and have a good day.